we will talk about foot and leg discomfort, including its top 10 most common causes, how to differentiate between types of discomfort, and treatment for each one. People describe foot and leg discomfort differently, for example, some say foot pain, burning sensations in the feet, tingling in the feet, or simply that their feet hurt. Others might describe it as a pins and needles sensation. The most common causes of foot discomfort are Poor circulation, when a person sits or stands for prolonged periods, blood circulation worsens, causing tingling and numbness in their feet. This is responsible for 40% of foot discomfort cases. The discomfort is relieved within minutes after the person resumes movement. It is more often described as tingling, numbness, and a pins and needles sensation rather than pain. It usually affects both legs, depending on the position. No specific treatment is needed, movement is the solution. Diabetic neuropathy, this type of discomfort is chronic and progressive, meaning it worsens over time. Patients usually report their feet burning, especially at night. It starts as mild tingling and burning in the toes and progresses to the whole foot over time, sometimes affecting the entire lower leg. Patients lose sensation in their feet over time. For people with diabetes, it is usually not the first manifestation, and they are often already diagnosed with diabetes for more than five years. Chronically elevated glucose in the blood directly damages blood vessels and nerves, causing oxidative stress. Treatment involves managing diabetes and controlling glucose levels. For neuropathic pain, if severe, anticonvulsants like gabapentin and pregabalin are used. Tricyclic antidepressants like amitriptyline or serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, such as duloxetine, can be effective. Topical treatments like capsaicin creams or lidocaine patches can provide localized pain relief. Peripheral artery disease, this causes intermittent claudications, which means pain during walking that is relieved with rest. The pain can become chronic if severe and is more cramp-like. It usually affects the whole leg, including calves, thighs, and buttocks during walking. In this case, extremities are cold, and the pulse is weak. Diagnosis is made through ultrasound or angiography, and blood pressure is compared in the arm and ankle. A difference of more than 0.90 is considered peripheral artery disease, which worsens with exertion and improves with rest. It usually develops due to high cholesterol and restriction of leg arteries because of atherosclerotic plaque formation. It typically affects both legs, but pain in one leg can be more pronounced. Foot pain is not very common in peripheral artery disease but possible in severe cases. Treatment involves cessation of smoking, a healthy diet with less saturated fat, and gradual exercise. Aspirin or clopidogrel is used to prevent clot formation, and sometimes statins are prescribed to reduce cholesterol levels. Surgery, like angioplasty and stenting, can be used. Prognosis depends on severity and treatment, with many patients experiencing significant improvement. The fourth most common cause is sciatica, responsible for around 10% of foot pain cases. It involves acute episodes of sharp and burning pain radiating from the lower back down one leg, often accompanied by numbness and tingling. Sciatica typically affects only one leg and the pain is usually alongside the leg, not isolated to the foot. When a person is lying down and their leg is lifted straight up, they feel pain radiating down the leg, which worsens during certain movements. Sciatica occurs due to compression of the sciatic nerve, usually caused by a bulging disc pressing on the nerve root or spinal stenosis. Treatment includes medications, ibuprofen or other nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, are commonly used, and sometimes acetaminophen is effective. Muscle relaxants may also be needed. Corticosteroid injections, these can reduce inflammation around the nerve. Physical therapy, Stretching and strengthening exercises are important, and manual therapy can help relieve pain. Rest, short periods of rest may be beneficial, but prolonged inactivity can worsen symptoms. The fifth cause is arthritis, which means inflammation of the joints. Arthritis pain is usually chronic, with joint pain, stiffness, and swelling. 
Common areas of pain include the knees, hips, and ankles. The pain is often worse in the morning or after inactivity and is relieved by movement or anti-inflammatory medications. Arthritis typically affects both feet but can also affect other joints. Common types of arthritis causing foot pain are osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, gout, this usually affects the big toe, causing sudden severe pain, redness, and swelling, often starting at night. The sixth common cause of foot discomfort is muscle strain, which means physical trauma to a muscle due to overuse, for example, for days or weeks, or a physical injury. The pain is usually specific to the affected muscle and may be accompanied by swelling and tenderness. Pain worsens with activity and is relieved by rest. A clear history of recent physical activity, trauma, or overuse often helps in diagnosing muscle strain. The seventh most common cause is tarsal tunnel syndrome. It develops from the compression of the tibial nerve within the tarsal tunnel. Burning, tingling, and numbness usually develop inside the ankle and on the sole of the foot. This condition involves the compression or entrapment of the tibial nerve as it passes through the tarsal tunnel due to swelling, injury, or anatomical abnormalities, usually affecting one foot. Treatment includes anti-inflammatory medications, rest and ice, physical therapy, orthotics, surgery if conservative treatments fail. The eighth most common cause is Morton's neuroma. It involves the thickening of the tissue around one of the nerves leading to the toes, often due to irritation or compression from tight shoes or high-impact activities. This condition causes burning pain in the ball of the foot, often radiating to the toes, and feels like stepping on a pebble. It usually affects one foot but can occur in both. Treatment includes changing footwear, orthotics and padding, rest, anti-inflammatory medications or corticosteroid injections, surgery if conservative treatments fail. The ninth most common cause is vitamin B12 deficiency. It causes tingling, numbness, and a burning sensation in the feet, along with fatigue and weakness. Vitamin B12 is crucial for the production of the myelin sheath, a protective cover for nerves, and its deficiency leads to neuropathy, usually affecting both legs. It can progress to other areas if left untreated. Other symptoms include tongue inflammation and anemia. Treatment includes vitamin B12 supplements, oral or injection. Foods rich in vitamin B12, such as meat, dairy products, and liver. The tenth most common cause of foot discomfort is foot cramps. These are particularly common among athletes and older adults. Prolonged standing, intense physical activity, or overuse of the muscles in the feet can lead to cramps. The most common causes of muscle cramps are dehydration and electrolyte deficiency. Insufficient hydration, especially during exercise, can lead to an imbalance of electrolytes, such as sodium, potassium, calcium, and magnesium, causing muscle cramps. Peripheral artery disease, diabetes, hypothyroidism, and nerve compression can increase the risk of muscle cramps. Wearing poorly fitting shoes or high heels can also strain the foot muscles and cause cramps. These cramps often occur at night or after physical activity and involve sudden, involuntary contractions or spasms of the muscles in the feet, lasting for several seconds or minutes. Treatment includes stretching the affected muscles, massaging the foot, hydrating, replenishing electrolytes. Other possible causes of foot pain include alcohol overuse, flat feet, tendonitis, and other types of muscle and tissue inflammations in the leg, but these are less common.